kind of late, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> All right, look, this is a grand trine in the sky. So you need to take full accountability, full spiritual responsibility of these energies, AKA you need to stand on that motherfucking business. So find out where you got the seventh house and your ascendant sign, and you need to harness these energies, AKA you need to plant the right seeds when it comes to relationships, equilibrium, balance, justice, fairness, and of course, you just gotta ride out the current rage. You just gotta play in the energies. That's it, that's all. It ain't nothing hard about it. And of course, whatever you trying to manifest in your life, the moon and Libra needs you, AKA need, AKA a woman needs that comfortability, that safety, that security, that vulnerability, that nakedness is gonna be exposed if you're not playing the right seeds. AKA your nakedness is gonna be exposed. She ain't gonna be able to actually, Moon and Libra ain't gonna bring you that equilibrium, that balance, that relationship, that partnership that you need in your life. If you plant them wrong motherfucking seeds, so you need to plant the right seeds. So whatever seeds you planting right now, it's going to dictate a whole lot of motherfucking shit. And of course, if you are a dictator shit, when it comes to your relationships, motherfucker, you're in the right motherfucking energies. AKA, you're the wrong energies. AKA, you're going to get left. The moon won't go left. You're going to get right. You don't want to get right right now. Make sure you're ready. You got to be right already. And of course, it starts with this grand trine in the sky. Now, this is a grand air trine. So when it's a grand air trine, you need to take your ambitions you need to take your uniqueness, a.k.a. Aquarius, your originality. You need to take your Libra, your fun, comfortability, your relationships, your partnerships. You need to take Gemini, meetable ass. And you need to connect the dots, a.k.a. create that triangle, that trine, that grand trine. And of course, make sure these trines are equilibrium. Make sure these trines are harmonious. Make sure these trines are in a circumstances situation, in a space and location that circumstances will not play out in terms of being these things are being affected. So yeah, we got a few transits in the sky. So yeah, we got Venus square. Um, yeah, Venus is square right now. So it's gonna be some circumstance situation when we deal with love matters. Moon square Venus. We learn this is learning how to. This is learning how to feel when it comes to romance, relationships. And of course, we all gonna be feeling these energies. We also got the Mars opposing Pluto. We also got Moon Tron Mercury. Our intent, willpower, motivation is at odds. Moon Tron Mercury, the way we feel and the way we are thinking is connected right now. <coughs> so make sure you're playing right seeds right now because these energies in the sky needs to be reciprocated in your backyard. <clears throat> no matter if your ass sick, no matter if your ass <clears throat> coughing, all kind of shit. No matter what's going on, you gotta harness these energy. <clears throat> your ass in the wheelchair. No matter what it is, you gotta make sure you harness these motherfucking energy. God damn. <coughs> damn. <clears throat> Hold the fuck up. Hold the Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we about to run these engines. I apologize for that. <laughs> I'm fighting these motherfucking alienated ass <clears throat> energies. Take care of your health. No matter what, you could be the healthiest person on the planet. Your ass still can get sick. Feel me? No, and the way for you to heal, get some hot peppers and some water. I ain't try that shit yet, but I'm gonna soon try that shit. Cause whatever's inside of me think that they can fuck with me, and you can't fuck with me. But we about to get into these energy. If you got the seventh house, in the first house, you're gonna be at odds with society in general. Because, of course, the charts is upside down right now. So this is a circumstance situation where you need to find equilibrium and balance when it comes to relationships, compromisation, and, of course, not be a ground to be walked on, but find equilibrium and balance when you're connecting with somebody or connecting with a romance or a partnership. You need to plant seeds of balance and stability, a.k.a. make sure that the seeds you're planting is not a circumstance situation of you holding back. Express how you truly feel about that person. If not, leave that person. Leave that motherfucker, period. And everything will be all right. See, the Aries, y'all going to be basically dealing with the opposite energies because opposites attract. But of course, 
this is a circumstance situation where things can be cool, things can be generous. But of course, there's always going to be a circumstance situation where you are in at competition with somebody or somebody trying to be in competition with you. So be aware of that shit. Ain't no need for that shit. You feel me? But these are just the energies that they play out. <coughs> Wherever you got Venus at, well, I'm bugging. Wherever you got Aries at in your charts, whether it's in Venus, you're going to be basically dealing with love competition during this time. You got Mars. If you got Mars and Aries, you, your intent, willpower, motivation, and it's going to be at odds and competition with other people in the way they see things. But also, Mars is in Leo right now, so it's going to be a trying. But of course, it can play out to circumstances and situations with the moon. So we talking about the moon. But yeah, be aware of that shit. Wherever you got Mars at, wherever you got um, Aries at in your charts, you're going to be experiencing opposite energies. Whether it be your sun, your moon, your Mercury, your Venus, your Mars, it's going to be some opposite shit going on. Also, your, your fucking Aries ascendant. But let's run this shit down. <clears throat> if you have the seventh house and the second house, you're going to be partnering with your values or the things that you value, what you have offer, what you have to offer to this world in general. Try to find equilibrium and balance because it could be a circumstance situation where desires, jealousy, and hate can play a part if both of y'all are not getting a fair share or a fair end of the stick or you could be the person that's basically developing jealousy. So plant good seeds during this time when we got the equilibrium and balance when it comes to things that you value and everything will be all right. Also, um, Scorpios, y'all gonna be seeing the um, y'all gonna y'all gonna be dealing with the other sides of the seed, seed of the plants of the other side, because of course the the seed is gonna be planted into Libra, so you're gonna be dealing with other seeds. There's different seeing the other side of your seed being planted when it comes to relating your intent, power, motivations, and dedications during this time. Also, the sex may be powerful during this time for Scorpios. Oh, if y'all out there fucking sex is gonna be very vulnerable. That's the only thing that can keep y'all really good grounded if the connection ain't really deep. But y'all gonna be dealing with a whole lot of sex desires too. And of course the moon about to go in and take his ass to Scorpio tomorrow. So we're gonna do a tarot card reading on that. We're gonna get that shit down packed. Also, damn. <coughs> damn, 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 damn. Also, when you have the seventh house and and uh third in the third house. You're going to be basically, you need to find equilibrium and balance when it comes to your um, surroundings and the, people that you're, and the people that you're familiar with. This could be a circumstance situation where you may be too talkative, maybe too out there, maybe too, maybe exposing too much shit, exposing too much shit that you shouldn't be exposing. Everybody don't need to be knowing that you fuck that lady in the church. Everybody ain't got to be knowing that you are about to go here and go there. Just keep things sacred. Everything ain't got to be exposed. Everything will be out. Right. You won't be developing. You won't be developing no haters or no group or no grout or no energies that you don't want to be dealing with. Gemini's, you got a you got a grand trine that you need to be working on. So you need to take full coverage of these opportunities of this trine to basically be open to new experiences when it comes to inter interactions, communication, and of course logic. <coughs> you gonna have a grand trine all fucking year. North Node Gemini also. Sun in Gemini, sun about to get his ass out of Gemini, going to Cancer and of course Moon and Scorpio. You know where it falls, get ready for some shit. They gonna plan some shit. <coughs> also, damn. If you got the seventh house and cancer, I mean fuck, I'm bugging. Seventh house and the fourth house. You need to find equilibrium and balance and plant seeds with privacy and your emotions. Make sure that you're not in a circumstance situation. Of being lost into what happened to the past, circumstances, situations of you not being too good for relationships and things of that matter. Now, nah, don't don't have that mind, don't have that mentality. Feel me? Don't worry about that guilt or worry that happened in the past. You need to focus on worrying about being situated and grounded into being open to allowing somebody to nurture and care for you doing something. You never know how it's gonna play out. Feel me? Just be open and don't be naive. Be open. <laughs> be open for that kid. Be open for that love. Everything ain't got to be too hard or too suffocation during this time. Learn how to be open. Don't be vulnerable in our strong. Always keep your guards up. But learn, learn how to allow love to come in, your, come in your life so you won't be fucked up out here. Because you need a chick. You need a pussy in your life to manifest. Also, if you got to, um, for cancers, y'all going to be dealing with conflict. Y'all going to be learning how to intimacy with your feelings and emotions and connections with other people. It may be very hard for you to be open to new experiences, new relationships, and new people because you're very safety and you're very secure. And, of course, you're not very out there. 
So maybe taking time, but also try to like playing good seasons, just trying to be mean and reasonable. Even though you may you may have to play the six feet part, uh, the six feet social distance shit, still have a communication and connection going on, everything will be at. Seventh house and um I need to hurry this shit up. Seventh house and the fifth house. This is a circumstance situation where um you only gonna be con connecting with people, places, and things that make you look good and shit. Try not to do that. Try to find equilibrium and balance and shit where you try to find connections. Everything will be I right. try to have try to find respect for yourself and everything will be good into your perspective. But you need to plant good seeds when it comes to expressing your emotions or expressing your creativity when it comes to other people, places and things. <coughs> There's no iron team. <coughs> find balance and equilibrium. Also, um, Leos, you have opportunities to um be open. You're gonna be receiving a lot of jealousy though. Do if you if you got that um if you got that loving basketball relationship, you're going to be receiving a lot of jealousy and hate. Also, um, seventh house and the sixth house. You define equilibrium and balance and stability when it comes to your routine, your scheduling, or what you're um, known for. Try not to overindulge. Take care of your health and everything can be right. For me, you got to learn how to ground yourself. You got to learn how to find your creativity and try not to um, get lost into what happened to the past. Learn how to get more deeply rooted into like a bigger a bigger imagination, a bigger outlook, a bigger way you can where you can connect to the world and be open to the new shit and not just old shit that happened in the past. And everything will be at Virgos. You gonna be um see Venus falls here. And Venus don't even really fuck with this house. So Virgo falls here. But of course, Virgo you need to pick up the slack. Also you're gonna be open to um eloquent of communication and interaction with people, places and things. You're gonna find romance very key audit into what you need on this time. Um, seventh house and the seventh house. This is a conjunction. So you're going to be, this is going to be a circumstance situation where you need to plant seeds when it comes to your um, relationships, your partnerships, and how you express your personality and who you are personally included with during this time and everything will be Gucci great. Libras, the spotlight is on you and the grandchild is on you too. So make it happen. If you got the um, seventh house and the eighth house, this is, um, this is being too d deeply rooted into your desires and shit. Learn how to like have, learn how to find a circumstance situation where y'all don't judge each other or be at harm's way during each other right now. It's not the time for that shit. Playing good seeds and everything will be right when it comes to um, your desires and shit. Scorpios. I mean, I already said Scorpios. Yeah, Scorpios. Y'all gonna be seeing the other side of, of y'all desires on this time. Of planting seeds of y'all desires. Now, if you got seventh house. In the um, ninth house, this is experiences when it comes to um, relationships. So, whatever you're at, at in the world, try to find meanings and reasons. Try to look at a bigger picture and don't get lost into the, what happened to the past. Everybody ain't who they truly are. For me, you'll be all right. Sagittarius, you're going to have opportunities to take experiences and get rich during this time. Get rich and die trying. Seventh house and the um, tenth house. This is um, planting good seeds when it comes to your status, your career, which you're known for when it comes to relationships and partnerships. Don't get too lost into circumstances, situations of what happened in the past. For me, try to find emotional connection and learn how to forgive and try not to take too many responsibilities. Knowing the sound, learn how to sit back and just be cool, be generous, be open. Knowing the sound, allow somebody to basically walk in your life and sweep you over your feet. Capricorns, you're gonna be dealing with conflict. Learn how to um, not accept approval from the world. Just be yourself. You know, of course. You got the exaltation here, so you may go to the extremes of relationships and partnerships and responsibilities. Seventh house and eleventh house. You're planting seeds when it comes to associations and associates and people, places, things that you're associating yourself with. This circumstance situation where you need to learn how to be unique and original and of course accept people, places and things for who they truly are. Try not to get lost into um being used or taken advantage of. And everything gonna be all right. Also Aquarius says you got a grand charm that you need to be working with also with your um, new possibilities of information and um, interactions. Seventh house and the twelfth house, last but not least, you may be open to too many um, experiences when it comes to your dreams, your imaginations, your fantasies, and your illusions. Try not to get too lost into something that would, would it may not truly be seen because everybody may not be your favorite person. Everybody not, may not be your favorite partner and shit. You may be bending backwards for somebody that may not truly be in your best interest. Pisces, you're going to be dealing with misunderstandings, but you're going to be too in love. The pussy going to be too good, or ladies to meet. The pipe, might, the pipe might be too good. Your ass might get too lost. Try to find equilibrium and balance and everything. I love you.